Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, my name is Elena. In today's video, we are reviewing the new ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hydrating Concealer. You guys, literally when I seen this product, I was so hyped, so here for it because you guys know I have dry skin and I'm always using a lot of hydrating products. So when I seen that ColourPop was coming out with a hydrating concealer, Honey, I was definitely here for it. I was like, yes, ma'am, sign me up. Where can I purchase? So you guys, I will be doing swatches. I will be doing a wear test. I will be giving all the information on this concealer as well as testing this product out to see if this concealer is actually worth the hype and if it's actually really bomb. So if you wanna hear about my opinion on this concealer, then make sure to keep on watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join the family, turn on post notifications so you can be notified every time your girl posts a video and give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoy reviews. Let's go ahead and get right into the information, review and testing. Let's go ahead and get right into it. I just been balling out every season. No as I left in the bleach. I just been married to double cup. I gotta pull me a four inside of Okay, so we're gonna get into the information part about the concealer so I can let you guys know all the facts and what the claims are for it. So like I said, this is the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. This is a full coverage creamy cushion concealer. It instantly brightens skin for a fresh natural finish that lasts all day. Infused with hyaluronic acid and coconut water to hydrate the skin, which I love. And it is available in 30 shades, which I think is such a really good shade range. Like 30 shades, that is definitely a really good shade range, especially for someone who is more of an affordable brand. So this is dermatology tested, it's gluten free, it's oil free, paraben free, and it's ideal for all skin types. So here is the concealer and what it looks like. This concealer does retail for $9 and this is the packaging it says pretty fresh creamy hyaluronic acid concealer and i really think the packaging is really really cute so also colorpop released a sponge so this is the pretty fresh precision blending sponge so it says that this sponge is a reusable blending sponge that effortlessly and precisely blends makeup into skin for a flawless application and is latex free so yeah, I'm really excited to see how that sponge is going to work and how it's going to compare to all the other sponges that I normally use. So yeah, I'm really excited about that as well. So here is the package of the concealers and I cannot believe this is so crazy that I even have this, but this is literally all 30 shades. So they do have six different categories. They have fair, light, medium, medium, dark, dark and dark deep and these also have different tones so they do have warm tone cool tone and neutral tones in the shade range of concealers i will only be swatching the medium dark dark and the deep dark on my skin tone just because i don't think it will be that helpful for anyone of a lighter complexion to see them swatched on my skin tones just like i don't think it's helpful for me to see my types of shades swatched on someone with a lighter complexion as well so i will only be doing the deeper shades on here just to let you guys know and here are the swatches of the medium dark dark and deep dark categories Okay, so I know I look kind of crazy right now. I literally have on foundation and no concealer, but we're about to put this ColourPop concealer to the test. We're about to see if it is full coverage, if it is creamy and hydrating. I want to see how good of the coverage is going to cover up underneath my eyes. And I'm going to kind of compare it to my Too Faced Born This Way concealer because that is one of my favorite concealers that I've been using lately. And it is a more full coverage hydrating concealer so I am going to compare it to that one so let's go ahead and get into the application so the shade I'm going to be using is medium deep 145 W I just think out of all the shades this one is going to be the best match for my skin tone I will be applying this 
on one side with the ColourPop Beauty Sponge and then on the other side with my normal beauty sponge that I use just to see if the beauty sponges do the same thing or if the ColourPop works better than the one I'm using. So I'm going to do that as well. So here we go. And I really like the one that has more of like a flat wand to it. And I'm just going to apply this all underneath my eyes like I normally would. And yeah, I really like this color. So far, it is really creamy. It is applying really nicely. So we're going to see. We're going to put it to the test, okay? I'm going to go ahead and apply it on my nose. And on my chin. I also like to apply it like right in the corners of my nose. So that is the concealer applied. And let's see how it blends out. So I'm going to do this side with the ColourPop sponge. And then I'm going to do the other side with my sponge that I normally use. So here we go. Okay, so far it's blending out really nicely. I'm barely having to tap into the concealer to get it to blend. It is very creamy. Like, look at that. Already blended out and I barely even tapped into it and that is actually a really nice concealer wow like i barely had to press and it looks flawless wow that is such a pretty formula okay color pop y'all might have did something okay yeah that is really pretty i'm gonna go ahead and blend this on chin too And then I'm going to go in this side with my normal sponge and blend this side out. Okay, just by blending this out, I love this formula. It is so hydrating, so flawless, so creamy. And it just looks so beautiful underneath the eyes. I'm so shook. They might have did something, you guys. It looks phenomenal. Like, I'm really blown away. And this concealer is $9. Did y'all hear me? $9. That is so affordable for such a good concealer. Okay, so this is the concealer blended all the way out. And honestly, I am a huge fan of this concealer, you guys. It is so beautiful. I love how hydrating it is. Like, it feels so comfortable underneath my eyes. It does not look cakey. It looks so smooth. So just like, oh my God, like just buttery and good. Like, I cannot tell you how beautiful it looks. I love it so, so much. I love the color. I really think this is a good color for underneath my eyes. I definitely think I prefer this one a lot more than their first concealer that came out with I just feel like for me it is better for my skin type I feel like that one would probably work a little bit better for someone who has oily skin to combo but if you do have a dry skin or extra dry skin or normal skin I really think you definitely would love this concealer so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup off camera and then I'll get back on so we can see the concealer after I put everything on and put powders underneath it and everything and then I'm gonna do a wear test for you guys so so we can see how this concealer wears throughout the day so I will be right back so I'm back and I have all of my makeup applied and honestly I am in love with this concealer I think it looks beautiful I did not have any issues applying my powder or anything on top of the concealer it looks 
amazing right now it looks so flawless so seamless it blended out beautifully i would definitely say this is full coverage i would definitely say it is very creamy and i would definitely say it is very hydrating i'm looking underneath my eyes it looks so smooth it sets so well with the powder and i am in love with it and the fact that it is nine dollars is still mind-blowing to me like ColourPop really did that and honey like I'm telling you guys if you are in between trying to figure out if you want to get this concealer I definitely would say definitely check it out because it is such a bomb product and if you weren't a fan of their previous concealer then I think you might actually really like this one because it is bomb so I will be wearing this for the rest of the day i probably will update you guys at the end of the night it is 4 15 right now so at the end of my day i will definitely make sure to get back on here so you guys can see how the concealer looks and how it wore throughout the day and stuff because i do want to see how this is going to work after you get up and i run some errands and stuff and see if it becomes a little bit more oily if it starts to crease or anything so i will update you guys at the end of the day okay so i'm back with the final update on this concealer as you can see i'm now in a t-shirt and some sweats i got a makeup stain on my shirt because a girl done knocked out i done took a nap i done ate i done went to walmart i done ran some errands i done did all kind of stuff so your girl is tired and ready to get this makeup off and edit this video so an update on the concealer i've had this on for almost eight hours it is almost 12 o'clock it's 11 50. right now while i'm looking at the concealer the concealer still looks intact it still looks really really good i feel like i can still wear this for a couple of more hours like that's how good it looks and i'm so happy about that because i'm the type of person when i sit down and i do my makeup I am the type of person that my routine needs to last me throughout the whole day. Like I'm always a person that's on the go and doing things all day long. So I do not have time to be touching up no makeup. The only thing I want to touch up is my lips. If it has anything to do with my base makeup, then baby, it better last all day. So the fact that this concealer has lasted for so long, and honestly, I feel like it could last me a couple of more hours longer, is really good, especially for its price point at nine dollars which is so good it is full coverage it is creamy it's hydrating honestly it is a really good concealer and i would recommend it to you guys because it is so affordable and such a good product so definitely make sure you check this out if you're interested i will make sure to leave all of my foundation references and my shade in this concealer and stuff in the description box so definitely make sure you guys are checking that out because i do put all of the information and stuff in there as well don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and turn on your post notifications so you can be notified every time i post a video i will be uploading every tuesday thursdays and sundays so i would love you guys to come and join me when i post my videos also let me know in the comments below if you're gonna pick up this concealer are you more of a hydrating or matte finish when it comes to buying a concealer and stuff let's chat it up in the comments below i love you guys so so much and i can't wait to see you in my next one bye loves and i'm pretty sure you thought the video was over but it's not so you know what go ahead and click on another video i'm gonna put something right here or right here take your pick girl get you some wine and watch another video